Hello music lovers, Tim coming at you again with another video. And in this video it is a response to a thread that's become quite popular the last couple of days I can see. Um, it was a, I watched a video from the Rock Scout yesterday or the day before. I think it was the day before but that's not important. About the top 10 albums that you always find yourself going back to and you and you're like not tired of them um, call that the top 10 repeat offenders is the thread title but um, I thought I would chime in on this um, it took me a little while to pick pick mine but I think I got it narrowed down and these are in no particular order and I'm I was like how far do I want to go back but I'll say within the last year year and a half um these have you know you know Six months, let's say six months to a year and a half. Um, these have had quite heavy rotation in my um, CD player. Um, some of these I do have in vinyl, but I didn't want to go downstairs just to get the vinyl when the CDs were handy. But anyway, without further ado, get started. And the, like I said, these are in no particular order. One matches my shirt, Disturb, Disturb's... Um, Immortalized album. Been out a few years, but when I find myself reaching for a disturbed album, this is the one I usually um, reach for, although I was listening to a little bit of the Lost Children before I came on camera. Alice Cooper Paranormal. Um, I enjoy this album. Um, definitely a strong 70s sound to this one. Um, I'm more of a fan of his like 80s stuff and uh, Brutal Planet, which was 2000, 2000, early 2000s, and Dragon Town, that type of thing. But I enjoy this one a lot. This one for sure. If I was ranking this, this would probably be my number one. Uh, Skillet Unleashed. This is the Unleashed Beyond, the deluxe edition. But ever since I've gotten the, this album, whether it be the CD or the vinyl of the, you know, original version or this deluxe version I find myself going back to this quite a bit especially since one of the best concerts I've seen in a while was by this band Phantom 5 Play to Win um, if you're a fan of the band Bonfire and you've not checked out Phantom 5 check them out because you know of course there are members of Bonfire in this band but a very good German rock band Breaking Benjamin Ember I played the vinyl <laughs> more than the CD but this will be on one of my this will be one of my albums of the year um, just love it that song The Dark of You is one of the most heart-wrenching songs I've heard in a while. But, um... Again, partly because I've seen this band in concert recently and enjoyed the concert a lot. But, Nickelback, Feed the Machine. Again, I find myself, I find myself buying the vinyl more than the CD, but I come back to that quite a bit. A repeat of something that another member show, showed on his video. 
latest from Striper, Goddamn Evil. And like he said, if it wasn't for the chorus of the first song, this would be a, almost a perfect it's, it's almost a perfect album. But that chorus, the way that chorus is on the opening song, detracts from it a little bit. But Nonpoint, the Poison Red. Um, I think uh, Metal Mickey's the only other person in the music community that I've seen show anything about Nonpoint, but they're a great hard rock heavy metal band out of Florida. Um, this has been in heavy rotation ever since I got it after its release. Again, a very good concert I saw last year. But um, now I'm waiting for August 24th for their new album, 10 or X to drop. I'm going to be picking this one up and that one up on vinyl as soon as I can. Uh, in August, look for my um, reveal and seal of their, of their new album, X. Um, I pre-ordered one of those bundles that's going to be quite an interesting to show you what what's in that. And of course I'd have to have something from this band in it, but Return to Forever, the tour edition. Now I find myself playing the bonus tracks on this a lot because, frankly, I, as I've mentioned before, I think a lot of those are better than the album tracks. But I listen to this quite a bit. And last but certainly not least, another one that Black Star Vinyl showed. But, and again, you know, if you're a rock metal fan, I'm sure this has been in frequent rotation in your um, but Judas Priest uh, Firepower what more can be said about this I don't remember the last time I was so blown away on a first listen to an album as I was by this I mean, I tried to make a video about something just after listening to this, and I couldn't, I couldn't form my thoughts for the video because this blew me away that much. But um, of course, that's what more can be said about this. I mean, this is this again, deservedly so, is one of the best, highly praised albums I've seen in a long time. But it deserves it. But there's mine, my response to your thread, Scott, Rock Scout, and um, good idea for a thread. And I think the original credit for starting this should go to Metal Mickey because a Facebook post of his um, inspired Scott to uh, start this thread. But again, it's a good idea. Um, Comment below, let me know your thoughts on my choices, music community. You have a good day. Rock on. God bless. Talk to you later.